Well, hello and welcome everybody to our coverage of a very special game in French football, indeed European football more broadly. It is, of course, Le Classique, the term which is applied to a game between Paris Saint-Germain and Marseille. Capital against province, north against south, the financial epicentre against what has traditionally at least been a working-class city, and now their citizens have a new channel through which to express their divisions. The history lesson's over for now, then. This is about the here and now. It is about sport. It is PSG and Olympique Marseille. Certainly, this is a very, very impressive venue. Quite a sight to behold. This is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. Well, in games of this nature, as a player, Peter, you only want to work as hard as demanded. You don't want to have to go at it full pelt. But when the opposition is what it is, all of that kind of goes out the window. The challenge here will ask more of you, and so both teams will, will wish to, to give more than they take. It's one of those games, Peter, where if the opposition increase their effort, you have to follow it. Away. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Kylian Mbappe. There's nothing more frightening for a defender when he's running at you at full speed. He gets into a stride so quickly and seems to just glide across the turf. But when the goal's in front of him, he's also got that cool head that's required to, to pick a spot and finish everything off. Yeah, he'll be looking for a goal or two. Chaletta Shah. Paye. Saka. Marseille getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. That's great strength on the ball. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. That's a foul, no two ways about it. Yeah, we guessed that this scenario could take place because he's up against pace. Looks to me as though this is probably a little too far out for a shot. An absolute joy! Dispatched expertly, nicely done. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Look, I'm sure that silencing the crowd would have been mentioned in the dressing room beforehand. And uh, just listen. Mbappe! That was a good run. The defence looked beaten there. Marino Pereira. Mbappe loses his balance and loses the ball. Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. anything between the sides and the score is 1-0 looking for space out wide Milik shoots Mbappe Hakimi tries lifting it over Mondonda gets it upfield It's gay. Mbappe. 
Mbappe! It's there! Hot knife through butter! They have done it again! Paris Saint-Germain are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Paris Saint-Germain themselves a two-goal cushion. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Payet, good challenge, he just stood firm. Hakimi tries to stroke it through. And Messi! Messi weighed up the options and picked the wrong one. Payet. Saka. A bit of penetration to go with all this possession. And the referee brings the first half to a close. What have we learned from the first 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first half success with a, another show of strength? Paris Saint-Germain are in at half-time on a comfortable two-goal cushion. But we're already into the second period. It's a loose ball. Mbappe, a scorer already in the game. Hoists it high. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Milik. Milik! Oh, fine stop from the keeper. Milik is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. He's got away. Mbappe. A really good feat from him. And it's gay. And Messi! Another save. Knocks it away. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Milik. Milik really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Charlotte Shah. Hakimi battles to win it back. Played into space out wide. Nicely controlled. Mbappe goes up and over. Paye, Milik. And it's Neymar. Oh, some tackle up. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Milik, with a delicate ball. Gorgeous control there. A chance to play it in. Paye! No, he couldn't find the finish. Oh, it's so very disappointing, but they can't dwell on it. They've got to go again. Simple as.
Marco Verratti. Mbappe. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. Good determined running there, but one back by the defence. Well, he was thinking about headlines, I'm sure, but he ought to focus more on, on breaking lines. Two minutes to be added on. And it's Neymar. He's been bundled over, that is a foul. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. And remember, Peter, that first goal came from a free kick, so why not a repeat? He's shaping up to have a crack from here. Messi against the crossbar. And time is up. So they bask in their win, a genuinely professional performance and a result which is well-deserved. The end of the game, reflections. Paris Saint-Germain made their intentions clear that nothing else but a win would do. These